Hello music creators, Mike here, and in this video we are going to play with Jade Ethnic Orchestra by Stress of Sampling, which is a wonderful sample library for that Eastern Asian flavor with lots of different instruments inside it. So let's check it out right now. Bowed Strings Ensembles Bowed Strings Solo Plucked strings. Voices. Winds. Percussion And finally, one-hit pads or drones Alright, so let's open up Contact 5 and here you have Yade Ethnic Orchestra added as a library and you can see the folders inside where the main sounds are that I just demonstrated. Now, let's just dive in and start playing with these. So the bowed strings, you get the bass Morhin Kur, I don't know how to pr pronounce these sounds, Erhu, uh, Morhin Kur, so this was a bass Morhin Kur, and what's this, Songhu ensemble. The only one I <laughs> honestly know is the Erhu, which is probably one of the most uh, fundamental instruments from uh, the eastern part of the world. So let's start with the bass uh, Morinkur ensemble pizzicato here. So you can see by the way that all of these instruments are actually divided by uh, the articulation pizzicato, staccato and sustain and tremolo in the same patch. So just so you know there are no massive key switchable presets in this library. Uh, like you might be used to with some other libraries. Instead, Stress of Sampling has an approach that you can just dive in and use any of these articulations on their own. Like this, for example. Let's see, where are we? Oh, it's the bass. Let's see if I play with the dynamics. Nice. And uh, if you are used to stress of samplings libraries, you can see they use this same kind of layout here with most of their, probably all of their newer libraries. So you have the microphone settings, close, deca, and hall. You have the panning position and the stereo width for them here and the levels, of course. Sometimes there are some extra features here, depending on preset. And if you click this little cogwheel here, uh, this is really cool, by the way, for the patches that support uh, modulation on dynamics. You can use niente, which means if you add the mode, we'll obviously not this patch because it's a short sound, but on the bowed strings you can go to complete silence. And you can also use the mappings here as you wish. Alright, so, I mean... The, the thing I love most about this library is the really focused ethnic flavor of it. I mean, every instrument you load up, let's do the ensemble sustain for this now, the bass morincourt, which apparently looks like this. So I love that they included this picture here because I did not know what a bass morincourt looked like. Okay, so here we have a sustain patch. Now we can go in. Niente, and if I drag the mode wheel down, we can go to complete silence. So most of these ethnic uh, Eastern instruments have this kind of fragile, fragile, delicate tone to them that really stand out in an emotional way. 
especially true, of course, of the um, Erhu. And you can see here that they actually recorded two ensembles of Erhu. I don't know the difference, to be honest, but let's try them out. Probably just like violin one and violin two in an orchestral library. really strong passion to be brought here. And by the way, this is an Erhu. This is really great that they included pictures, because I, I think you, like myself, don't really know these Eastern instruments, how they look like. And, of course, when you play any new instruments, what I recommend you to do is go to Wikipedia, go to Google and search for it so you can learn more about it, because the more you know about an instrument, how it is performed, what range it sounds best in, uh, what articulations you can use, the better you can compose for it. And <laughs> by the way, here's a cheap trick that you probably know about. Play only the black keys and you get that Eastern style because that is basically a pentatonic scale. I, you, you probably only already know that if you want to play that Eastern vibe, just play the black keys. Of course, you can use a different scale, but if you want instant ethnic flavor, Eastern flavor, try that out. Let's try the Erhu 2 and see if it sounds... Oh yeah, let's listen to the legato. Stress of Sampling is one of the uh, best s developers for legato in my experience, especially with their Aflatus, Aflatus Strings, which is one of my top three string libraries, uh, and I have a lot of them because of their amazing legato and also really nice expression in vibrato. Uh, let's do this Impressionist Erhu, uh, another Erhu basically here. And here's a bonus tip, you have this Velocity Dynamic Influencer, which means on long uh, sounds like this. The main way to control dynamics is with the mod wheel, that you are used to with every sample library. But if you add this, and I just found out that this is not a button, it's just off, you need to drag this slider, how many decibels will be... Uh, affected by the velocity, meaning how hard you press your key here on every note. So you can actually use on the top here both dynamics from the velocity and the mod wheel at the same time and choose how much uh, the velocity affects the dynamics. Let's continue with Morhin Kur here with, let's do pizzicato. So we just play the Morhinku bass first. Apparently this is... What an unusual cool shape it is here for the resonance box. Wow, really cool room sound. I wonder where they recorded this. I haven't actually looked it up, but you can if you check the link in the video description. Um, let's see, Morinkur, let's do this last one, this Sunghu ensemble. Let's do this staccato for this one. And of course, uh, Velocity Dynamic Influencer is not available here because it is only the velocity that affects the sound, not the mod view. Which means Niente does nothing on these patches. So you have to know that the difference between the lo long sounds and the short sounds. Uh, let's continue with a couple of the solo ones. So string ensembles, the solo ones, they included a bunch more here, but they also have an expressive air. Let's start with that one. Sustain solo, expressive, meaning I assume more vibrato here. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, I, I, I have to say, Air Who is probably my favorite instrument in the eastern part of the world. It just has that super fragile, delicate and expressive tone. And they also included Air Who Solo 1 here, not the 2, which is interesting, but I guess this is the, the second, the expressive Air Who. And again, you get these separated as pit stack and sustain. Um, I would have liked if they have added at least a couple of um, articulation switch patches in its own folder probably here. Um, I, I don't know if they will add it in an update later, but uh, that would have been cool in my opinion. Let's try this one. Ban Hu. I have no idea what it looks like. Or sounds like, okay, it looks a bit like the Air Who. Even, even thinner tone. You can see the resonance boxes, <laughs> this little thing here. So you get more of the string sound. I think that is the, that is actually the, the thing with these um, instruments here, uh, the Air Who and this Ban Who. They have such a small resonance box, so you get more of that fundamental string sound. Okay, let's try the done knee. Let's do the effects. I have no idea what this is either. Again, looks a bit like the air hoop. <laughs> Cartoony, Asian cartoon uh, effects. I would assume. I don't know. Um, let's see. Ying Hu, Ying Hu, we try that one with the other, I think. Uh, or did we? Let's do it. King Hu sustain. Let's try the tremolo, in fact. So you have two articulations. So this is the only articulation uh, key switchable preset, this sus trem. So we have the... Again, looks like the area. Lots of these instruments are... basically variations of the same style of uh, bowed strings. Okay, so let's uh, key switch it to um, tremolo. Let's see how this sounds. Can I play two now? In fact, let's me let me try play with this and see. Can I play two? I can. What happens if I have my uh, sustain pedal? Uh, that is one thing I would have liked as well. A button or something. I don't think they have it here. Or is it a sustain nose? Let's see. Okay, so it's like holding the sustain pedal. What I would have liked is a way to force solo, force legato uh, with the, the sustain pedal. So basically, I want to play all, um, all legato, all solo. So that could perhaps be an update. Uh, at least that's a suggestion I have for stress of sampling if you are watching this video. Let's see, string chur. I'll, I'll, I like to try with the sustain patches first here. So what does this look like? Oh, what? How unusual the shape of these instruments are, really. Where are we? Lower in the range. I I love this one. How mysterious that feels, mystique, string chur. Okay, so that was one of my favorites by far. Uh, village erhu. So did they record it in a village? Let's try this out. Okay, looks about the same. Let's see what it sounds like. So this is pizzicato. You don't really hear pizzicato on uh, air hood that often, so let's just go for the sustain that we all love. Still very good legato.
Again, I would have loved to have because I want to do really that legato and and not have them like poly uh, like two notes in the end there when I when I uh, hold down this and go to the next note. So some kind of force legato option would have been nice there. Let's see what is this. Uh, what am I playing? Village Eru. Let's try this one then. The Songhu solo patch staccato. Which and by the way, I think I don't know if I'm playing this correctly, but I I, I just go with the flow of the rhythm. I feel like lots of Asian and, and Eastern world music has these kinds of interesting rhythmic flavors into the phrases. Um so that is something you have to experiment with as well. Let's skip the pads for now and go straight to the plucked strings. So uh, you already heard some plucked in the sense of pizzicato, but let's do this one. Dar, daruan, daruan. Looks like this, apparently. Oh, wow. What, wow, what strong we brought with here on the strings. What is the range here? Oh, it goes down to C2 and up to C5. Those three full oct octaves. Okay, so this was another favorite of mine by far uh, because of this really strong vibrato in the. And if I hold the sustain here, it's really cool actually because create some chordal harmonic thing there. Let's try this one. Harmonics on um, Gukin. Okay, looks like an obelisk. Ob what is obeli obelisk? What it's called? You know what I mean. Oh, nice. I love harmonics. So magical and mysterious. So then we have that was the Gukin. Uh, let's skip the sustained tremolo here. Oh no, let's do that one. In fact, I have no idea what that will sound like either. I have no idea how you even play it. It looks like strings cross over this thing here. You can really hear that. I, I feel like pluck string instrument. These Eastern style plucked instruments, they have these kind of uh, rough edges in the pitch. Which really adds so much character and you immediately hear that Eastern vibe. Let's do with bends here on the Guzeng Zol solo. Uh, and see how that sounds like. Bends. Looks like this, apparently. Let's do it high. So it starts and then bends up. So you can play. <laughs> and then it bends up. I don't know. It bends qu quite high, actually. Let's see if I can do anything here. They have bend. Let's see. Okay. Bend down as well. Cool. Oh, wow. Let's play it low. Let's play it. How, how low does it go? D, D2. I love bend downs. They, they sound so creepy. Wow, I could see myself using that in some kind of horror or tension score. Let's see, Lee, Lee Quinn. Let's see, let's try these chord patches. I assume it's chords per note. So let's just hold down C, middle C, and see what happens. Okay, so what do we have here then? It's a key switch without a key switch. Okay, so. 
Oh yeah, play, play. Yes, let's do a one, four, five. I don't know if I would use that that much, but I guess it's for some inspiration or mock-ups. Uh, let's do this one. Piper and Piper Ensemble Bends. Yeah, let's do another bend. You gotta love bends in with strings. Okay, so more of a uh, hold and then do a quick bend. Bend and then bend up, bend down. Yeah, you hear more of the, of the frets here when you bend. So it sounds more... It's, it says bend, I don't know if it's a, a slide they mean, but you really hear uh, that shift in pitch and tone. Let's go with... Okay, so that's the pipe ensemble. Let's go... Let's keep the solo, you know, but this is already... Sa Thanks, Jan. Let's do this one. I will probably mostly use the main uh, articulations of the sus trem and the staccato and pizzicato and plug strings. But the bends are cool. Not the chords uh, effects. I, I probably won't use that much personally, but perhaps you will. Another one of my favorites so far. Because you have that immediate. I don't know. It's the tone of the instrument. You really feel the inspiration from the eastern parts of the world. Yanquin bounces. What is that? Okay, it looks like this, like plate with strings crossing it. Oh, okay, so... Oh, yeah, so they bounce on the strings. Almost like a rapid tremolo but more pronounced bounces. <laughs> A really cool one that well as well. Songruan sustained tremolo here. And it looks like a smiley face. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I mean, uh, that's what I saw here. <laughs> say that the, the plucked strings category is my favorite uh, so far in this library because it's so easy to use you get that immediate eastern flavor and I mean unless you do a full-on ethnic score you can add this more easily as a flavor uh, because plucked strings or short plucked sounds like this doesn't take up too much room in the mix. Let's continue with the voices. So we have Humai and Mongolian Long Song. Let's try the men legato in Humai. What is this? Very short range. Oh man. Okay, so I uh, I I don't know what these are for, but I would probably use them as like a drone. It sounds like a drone to me. And then hold that down while I play some Eru and pluck strings on top of it. Let's see what these keys switches do. Oh, so you change syllables. Or whatever you can call this. And then they have a Scylla Builder. Let's see how that... Oh, it looks the same. They really uh, are true to their core design and workflow in their library. So here you can choose. Let's just add some syllables and see what it sounds like. And here, actually, you get more range. Let's go up. I have no 
never heard anything like this uh, choir before. Really interesting ethnic flavor. Mongolian Long Song Quartet. Let's do a simple ah choir here. Okay, I really love this one. This will be one of my favorites for sure. Because they have that little Wah! thing going on there that I, I immediately think of the Asian Eastern culture with. And, and you feel the vibrato coming in stronger there as well. They have the E. Let's do the Silla Builder here as well and try that one. Okay, so let's just add some of these. You can obviously do whatever you want to do. You can even go in and set how fast the legato will be for every transition, every syllable here. Fast, medium, slow, rhythm. Let's, see. let's just try. Nice. And I think if you click the cogwheel here, yeah, you get back here. And you see the mic options, close, deck, a hole, the same kind of layout you have in uh, other stress of sampling libraries. Then let's do the soloist. Let's try the let's try the A for this one, so you get a sense for that classic syllable. <laughs> And then, let's see, voices, then we get to the wind department, uh, so various types of flutes, basically. Let's do the DC Alto Legato, looks like this. Kind of large, so let's see what the range is. It starts on middle C, C4, and goes up to G6. Kind of large range for a wind instrument. I can already feel, I can already feel this will be another favorite of mine. I love that you have strong expression and that you still can play these faster legato passages. Great legato as well. Really hear nothing of that abrupt transition there. It's really smooth. Okay, so that is the DC Alto. Let's do this DC. Okay, so they have a Alto, Piccolo, and Soprano. Really nice of them to include quite a lot of range here. Let's do the Soprano next. So This would be in, probably be in the opposite order, in my opinion. So here we have, where are the, which is the range? Oops, which is the range here? So starting on G. Five. So that is the soprano. Let's do the piccolo. Shouldn't piccolo be higher? Even higher. Yes, it is. So it starts all the way up on D6. Uh, let's see. Then we have Hulusi. Uh, Oh, but yeah, they did this for all these wind instruments. They have alto, soprano, tenor, so various ranges here. So let's see the alto Lucy first. A more limited range. And what? What is this? Is they are so cool looking the instruments from Asia. More of that mellow uh, clarinet type tone there. Let's do the soprano. Uh, in fact, let's do the staccato for Lucy soprano. Mm, I prefer the legato. Let's do the tenor. Oh, t tenor is low. Wind instruments, or I mean low ranged instruments, have such a. I, I, I just love the mystique, uh, that flavor of low range wind instruments, and especially true for these expressive 
instruments in Yale Ethnic Orchestra. Let's see, shakuhachi. I know the word. I have heard it. Okay, so this type of flute I have actually used. You get a really nice breath sound. And wow. Amazing vibrato. Quite a lot of range here as well. Starting on D4, all the way up to D, D6. Two full octaves. I think uh, that is a good range to play lots of variation in phrases with. One octave is, to me personally, instruments with one octave I usually use as background drones, pad stuff. Um, in most cases, Sheng Le Sheng Leg, what is this to say? A flute, Hu Shi. What is this? Oh, wow, what a wide range. Very interesting color in this sound. Again, a very unusual design of this instrument. Sona. Sona! Like uh, the Finnish sauna? No, it's an instrument in this case. Oh, wow. Looks like a unusual trumpet kind of instrument. Here, I mean, these, this instrument, you really hear that distinctive Eastern flavor. And again, I mean, I use the mod wheel, but if I use Niente on this, I assume it will go... Yeah, so I can use the entire dynamic range. And then we have a piccolo, a piccolo of this as well. Let's do the staccato and see what that sounds like. <laughs> I mean, the, the sound to me is... I don't know when I would use this. It sounds very comedic. Uh, let's do the sustain on that. So this suona, uh, I really hear lots of strong flavors. With the eastern flavor again. Let's do the soprano as well. And you get, I mean, you, you simply have different ranges. Okay, so it's higher. But basically those are similar, just different ranges. Then we have wind, uh, sure, let's do the drone. Let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> really cool. And the legato. Very mysterious, that one. And xiao, legato. Looks like this, apparently. Beautiful tone. Great vibrato. Let's see, it starts on... Starts on D4. One of my favorites again here. Xiao Legato. Let's try this. Last one, the Xun. Again, very limited range, and it looks like an, an egg shaker, but with these holes that apparently... It sounded way better than I th thought when I saw this image. This one I could definitely use in a score. Really mellow, laid-back uh, tone. 
Let's see, that was the wind category. Let's now go to the percussion. And this is important because you can see X3M. If you know the stress of sampling libraries, you know their X3M engine. They have a range of percussion libraries that use this. And what I love about it is that you can map the zones. Here you can see in colors down here on the keyboard. These zones you can have, you can see, click on this zone. Let's X this out or zone 2, and you have these various categories. Apparently you get, let's just go through them, ensembles, these different, uh, I will not play all of this, but you get the, these ensemble here, then you get the solo percussion, these types here, some symbols, bow symbols, cha symbols, picking gongs, tam-tams, mallets, miscellaneous, and some various roles. Uh, I'm just going to play what is already mapped out here, and let's see, you get the round robin reset, Even some descriptions of what they do, you still get the mic positions here, and you can clear all zones here, or load a preset file, so you can actually save and load your preset files and load them up with the custom mapping you have made, but you mean, I mean, you get 12 different zones mapped across your keyboard, so you can play all the way from here. In most cases, I prefer to have the low-end instruments at the low part of the keyboard, and then go higher. So there we have the lower, then we get to the next, what, next ones. The next ones, or here. And then... And continue. I actually am a fan of this more mid to high or smaller percussion uh, instruments when I use ethnic instruments. Just to spice up and add some flavor to uh, the music. Now, finally, we have this pads category here. I think we've gone through the rest. Yes, so the pads, if we load that up here, is something really cool because you can just add instant ethnic flavor, Asian flavor with the one key uh, drones basically. You have a sci-fi folder here and a fantasy folder. And basically it's just some clever sound design and layering that uh, this guy, Liu Bomir Goshev, have designed for Jade Ethnic Orchestra. So I just need to hold down the key. And you can basically get a Yet Ethnic Orchestra stinger, stinger or drone. Just switch it out for female warriors. Of course, the downside of using these is that um, you will end up using what ev everyone else does. What I think is great about these is that it can be a great starting point for ins inspiration. Because if I just hold down this note. that into my DW, then I can start to play around with other real instruments here inside Jade Ethnic Orchestra, because I get into the mood and inspiration for this vibe. And of course you can play different keys, so let's go with F. And just use this as a starting point, a drone in the background. Um, I would avoid using it standalone again because of the reasons I mentioned. So that is Jade Ethnic Orchestra. If you think about what you get in here, it's so much. It's the entire Asian world, basically. Musical world and culture in one single library. Just the percussion alone could have been a, its own sample library, in my opinion. So I will leave a link in the video description so you can go to the website and read more about Jade Ethnic Orchestra and get a real and proper walkthroughs on how all this works in action by stress of sampling. And I will see you in the next video, my friends. Now choose which video you are going to watch next. Or you can check out the amazing bonuses in the video description.